Want to hear some tips on how to sell your home when you've got kids and toys everywhere? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Duke at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're going to talk about three tips for selling your kid-friendly, a lot of toys, environment while minimizing stress and disruption to your family. So let's start with the first one, the quantity of toys your kids might have out and about. So I'm a mom of three, we've got Legos everywhere. What I tend to recommend to my home sellers is find what your kids' favorite toys are and try to minimize the quantity of toys. So number one is quantity of toys. Minimize if possible so you don't have toys everywhere around the house. Which takes me to number two, select one location for the toys. Because when you have all of the toys that your child or children play with in one location, it's gonna be so much easier for you to get them picked up and put away when you have someone calling to wanna show your house. <laughs> Which, number three, Tell your realtor, your listing agent, that you would like at least a minimum of a two hour notice before showings happen with your home. At least two hours. What that means, if a buyer wants to show your home, their agent has to call within at least a minimum of a two hours before their scheduled showing time request. What does that do for you? Well, it's gonna give you time to prepare your home for those buyers hopefully your home buyers of your house to come check out your home. And in that time period, without having to stress and rush because you'll have plenty of time to get toys put away, kids ready to walk out the door and the home prepared and ready. And the biggest part of that is doing it without stressing because you have a short period of window of time to get it done. So if two hours isn't enough, tell your agent you need a minimum of two and a half hours, three hours, whatever it is that's going to be as stress-free for you as possible. And you know what, I said three tips, but I've got a bonus one for you because as an agent, it's one of my pet peeves. I see homes where, in fact, we have it at our house too, where in our children's bedroom, we have their name on a wall in some decorative, really cute way. Take those down before you list the home, before you get it marketed, before you have buyers coming through. Because as an agent in my pet peeve, I don't need buyers, strangers, knowing who your children are, what their names are. They just don't need to know. That's private. So take those names off the walls, off the doors, anywhere you have it, because it's none of those buyers' business. We only want them focused on your home and not the children living in it. So with that said, if you're thinking about selling your home, give us a call at the number below, because we would love to help you get your kid-friendly environment ready to sell. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video out for you.